SA Lead is looking at low emissions development and one of the projects they decided to look at is biogas digesters and they found out about the school which seems to be a working model for how you can put in place a biogas digester. If you look at how much waste is going into the biodigester, it works out to be about six tonnes per year. Now six tonnes that would hopefully end up on the municipal waste dump site. Now it's going into the biodigester. It also means it's not lying on the dump site or over the fence. Now you've removed that. So there's a health benefit. I think it's a great project. Kusukutu Puma Gwami Nyolanda i project ngaya ku WECCF, i project yabo mama, sasine nki nga ye LH. And then jenge electricity, nama increasement we electricity. And then gula sata la kona singa bo mama sa suguma, sa puma, sa langa na kusukutu nge zindaweza shuga shuge ene. Sa zoba na le complain le yoguti eh, i energy esi funa yotina, i energy yemvelo. Sabona go guti kungono agufagwe ama solar panel. And then gube i bio gas, and then ngono gube kona na ma veg, azo gwa zo guti a, 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 a maintain i bio gas, guti i sale i sebenza, i be ne boost yoguti yenze i gas, the, the, the school, it has been zoned as a, a disadvantaged school. It accommodates people from grade R to grade 7. And most of them are from Mkanwa. Mkanwa is a disadvantaged area next to the school. In most cases, they come here without any breakfast. Uh, at the moment, we are feeding 515 children uh, on a daily basis. And they are fed twice. There is a breakfast and lunch. The biogas uh, digester is a wonderful tool to have in the school. Number one, we have been wasting a lot of money in the KLG gas. We were spending close to 5,000 rand per month. Since the inception of the biogas digester, we are able to spend half for now. The long-term projection is we should spend almost zero on cooking and we should also spend zero in the budget of the department on buying the PLG gases. That is our long-term projection. How I started in here before the biogas was installed as compared to now that the biogas is installed. Before then, it was very difficult because we have to come very early because the LP gas compared to the biogas stove is very slow. The kids, when they arrive, they must get some porridge before they go to the classes. As compared to now, I can come in here at school at 10 to 7 or quarter to 7, and then 5 past to 10 past 7, the porridge is ready. So there is a big difference, the time difference. So it's like fun now. We're having fun. I do collect the data from in the morning when we cook the porridge. I have to check how much do we have on the meter readings before I use the stove. So I have to write the, the first one and the second one. And then I can light the stove and use the stove to cook and measure the time. When I put the pot in there, I must check my time. What time is it? How much time did I use? And after that, I must also see how much gas did I use? How much gas is left? We're still going to continue to cook for the day. We first came here about three years ago uh, to have a look at the site um, with the client at that stage. The school was chosen very much because of the people that were here. There was a very strong, enthusiastic group, uh, local people, who had got together and wanted to do things for the community. They actually approached us and they had some strong ideas about what they wanted to do, so it was a very easy group for us to work with. Biogas is essentially a Gas that is a natural thing that occurs due to anaerobic digestion. The gas that is generated out of that is a mixture of methane, CH4, and that, luckily for us, is a flammable fuel. It is probably about the best renewable energy option because what happens is that every time you have human beings in a group, you have waste. So waste in communities is a dangerous problem. We've got vermin that come around and run around uh, in schools, and by using it very, very quickly, by keeping it out of the vermin's path, you end up with a solution, actually a three-pronged solution to a single social problem. The thing that needs to be said is the success of biogas in a school is that it cannot be a standalone product. It has got to be an embed unit that has a garden involved, it has water harvesting, it has education at its core, it has community support, that is the way to a successful biogas project. And it is important that we don't lose sight of that up here. The biogas is not from lab to a kitchen. When Bafaga 
ukudla mhlambe amaveja bolile then it helps to gain gas and then they can cook for us <laughs>